So tell me about your starfish and your floaty right now. The more attitude. <laughs> too high, too high. We love your high, good eye, good eye ball. That's what they yell at me for. If I'm not playing, then um, hot Cheetos and cheese. But if I am playing, um, just like a Snickers. Okay. I like a pickle. All right, guys. First question of the night. What makes you most nervous in softball? Um, I get really nervous when I'm the first up to bat in an inning where sometimes they don't hit that first inning and then you're up and I started off, but that's what gets me most nervous. Okay. Aubrey, what about you? For me, before games during the national anthem, um, that first game, all the nerves are building up, especially when I'm pitching. So just during the national anthem, I'm thinking about everything that could go wrong or whatever. So just the nerves there get me the most. When you're pitching... Is, when you guys are in the National Anthem, it's just you and the catcher? Or how, how do you guys stand in the um, circle? So in the circle, we have first base on my right side, and then I have my catcher to the left, and then to my catcher, I have my third baseman. So we have our legs crossed, um, so we're all connected through the National Anthem. Oh, okay. All right. So And then you're the first baseman, right? Yes. So then, okay. So we've got that. And then do you guys have anything else that you do, like hands behind your back, fingers crossed? Like how do you, What do you guys do? We have a number two behind the okay. hand behind our back. What is that for? Um, so obviously God comes first in everything you do. And so it's just a reminder that God is above everything. And then softball always comes second between God. Very cool. That's awesome. And also two-time state champ. So that doesn't hurt either, right? <laughs> Guys, you are here on the All Sports Best podcast. Welcome. Today we have two very special guests, sisters, as a matter of fact, Junior Aubrey Hernandez um, and senior Anna Hernandez as well. So welcome guys to the podcast. Appreciate you guys for being here. Um, all right, let's go ahead and get on into it. Actually, uh, today's podcast is sponsored by Lucky Bull Grill. We're actually upstairs here at the Lucky Bull Grill. If you're interested in caterings, they do that upstairs. Or um, right now, one of the big things that they wanted to uh, let you guys know is that uh, they have dining on Saturdays as well, lunch and dinner. So check that out. Okay, guys. So um, you guys are one year apart, right? Is that a, the, right? Because yeah, junior, senior, months. what's that? 11 months. A year. 11 months. Oh, yeah. wow. That's really close. Okay. So you guys are 11 months apart. Um, have you guys always had a passion for the same sports or did it fluctuate? So I think we both have always really enjoyed softball and really loved softball. But I think towards these later years, I've fallen more for like soccer. Like okay. I still love softball, but soccer has turned more into like my number one. Um, personally, I played soccer when, <laughs> with her when I was little, but it was not never for me. I played this year mm. again with her for her senior year, and I feel like definitely not for me still. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> so, okay, cool. Well, that's cool that you got to play, though, though together, right? Yeah, All it was the... really nice just having another season with her. Sure. And so let's go ahead and just elephant in the room. Anna, you've got a floaty on. Yep. Here in the in the starfish. studio. <laughs> so tell me about your starfish and your floaty right now. Um, I'm wearing a starfish floaty because, well, I just got lifted on a penalty, but we're doing senior assassin, and you're safe when you have your floaty on, so I'm trying to make sure I'm safe. Okay, so the game, for those of you that don't know, uh, it's called senior assassin, and is there money at stake? Like, I don't yeah. even know, really. So everybody puts in $10. Okay. And then it's just like, for that pot, whoever wins gets the money. You said you got lifted on a penalty. What does that mean? Well, we didn't kill anybody, so we had a week-long penalty where we couldn't wear our floaties. So. Okay. You didn't kill anybody. Oh, good. I'm glad you guys are using <laughs> very nonviolent terms at all. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so what I wanted to do, something fun that I've actually never done on the podcast before, um, I'll vocalize it a little bit, but you guys, if you guys don't mind, you're going to close your eyes, and I'm going to say, I'm going to give you guys um, a trait, and you're going to point at who it, you think it is. Okay. The reason okay. your eyes are closed is so that you don't cheat don't and go, oh, well, let's decide who it is. So you're gonna, we're going to try and see who, what we come up with here. You guys ready for this? Yeah. Okay. Okay. We'll go ahead and begin now. Okay. The Do louder like, one. Oh, yeah. You're just going to okay. point to, Okay. The more attitude. <laughs> okay, so, uh, sorry. Louder one was Aubrey. More attitude was Aubrey so far <laughs> by uh, unanimous decision. Um, better style. Okay. Pointed to each other. Cool. Better athlete. Oh. 
Okay, very cool. Humble, both humble. Um, more fun to be around. <laughs> okay, very good. <laughs> Say they both said each other. This the reason I'm explaining it is because there's uh, the audio version as well. Um, eat spicier foods. Okay, Aubrey wins that one. Bigger sweet tooth. Anna, okay. I think so. Um, faster runner, Anna. Uh, clumsier, <laughs> Anna. And better jokes, Aubrey. Okay, so you guys agreed on most of them. That's, that's going to do it for now. So <laughs> okay. thank you guys for participating in that. Um, all right, so you guys get a chance to play with each other, especially this year. I think last year in softball, um, right? No, I didn't get to play. You last didn't get year. to play because you were hurt. Yes. Okay. So this year, being able to play as a senior and as a junior, uh, what is the best thing about playing with your sister? I think the best thing is you just know you have that one built-in friend. So like, I mean, teams don't always get along. So you always know you have that one person backing you up, and she's always there. Okay. What um, about you, Aubrey? I think it's just nice to have like a partner and everything, like a throwing partner. I have her, and then. Like, if I just want to go hang out after practice, I have her to go get drinks with or hang out if I have a couple minutes before practice in school. Yeah, okay. Wait, who did you throw with last year? Who did you abandon? Ooh. Um, last year, I was split <laughs> because I was a pitcher. I would throw with um, Paris, and then I would throw with Haven if I was pitching and stuff. So okay. it kind of just – I didn't really have a set person. Okay, so Paris is still there. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> so you but she's with away. Bianca now. Okay. So, but it's just harder because whenever I'm pitching, I kind of have to ditch everybody. So, okay. Um, <laughs> is there a trash talk between the two of you? So, like we talk about the positives, but is there a competition between the two of you in sports or anything outside of sports? I think that softball wise, at least, she is more humble than she'll put on, and she knows she's better than me, and she's okay. just she always has been. So. I think that I don't trash talk much because I already know. Fair enough. <laughs> Aubrey? Um, I feel like we tease each other. Like if we, like, we're just throwing overhand and like I make a bad throw, but then she misses, I'm like, Anna, come on, like catch that ball, you know? Yeah. But I think it's more like a joking around type of thing. Like school-wise, I feel like we get more competition, like want to beat each other out. But I feel like softball, it's more like joking around. Sure, okay. Do you guys get a chance to kind of do constructive criticism to each other, like, hey, you did this on this play, or do you guys just leave it be because it's maybe a touchy subject? I think we both played for so long that we kind of just leave it be because we know, and like, yeah. you're internally beating yourself up, so there's no need to add on to that. Fair little. enough. That's a, good, that's a good way to look at it. Okay, so chants are a good big part of, of Cave Girl softball. What is your favorite chant that you guys say in the dugout? I know there's tons of them, right? Yeah, there's a lot of them, but I feel like I get yelled at mostly because I come up with um, little kid ones, they say. I come up with, like, T-ball ones, but so I'm not allowed to start chants anymore. <laughs> well, what, what would be one that would be a T-ball one maybe we could? Um, too high, too high. We <laughs> love your I could, I could, I ball. That's what they yell at me for. That one, I feel like, is, like... Okay. And what about you, Hannah? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like... Now at the varsity level high school, we don't do too many chants because they'll make fun of her for trying to start them. So it's more of just like, hey, yeah, you got it, like just cheering on your team. Really? Like chants. That is news to me. I feel like every time I've ever gone to a softball game, it's like, rah, rah, re, kick them in the knee. Have you guys heard that one? <laughs> yes. Rah, rah, ras, kick them in the other knee. Okay. What, yeah, it's the, the yeah. other knee, yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, recovering from an injury, Anna, you had a knee injury that mm -hmm. happened from soccer, yes. right? Um, what happened, what was it, and then, like, what was the recovery process for you? Okay, so for soccer, it was the second game of my junior year, and it was right there at the beginning of it, and I got pushed, and I just landed wrong, and mm. then I tried to play again the next day, and wasn't a smart choice, so I ended up tearing my meniscus in, like, three different ways, so I had, like, three different tears built up in this one tear, mm. so I had to get surgery for that, and he repaired all the different little tears, and then I was on crutches for like four months. So I was on crutches to like the middle of December. And then I had to go to a lot of physical therapy and I was told I couldn't play softball. So I switched and I threw in track because oh. I got to do something. Sure. So I threw and then just kept with the physical therapy and then started running and doing stuff on my own just to have that extra. So. What did you throw? Was it javelin or 
I threw jab and disc. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. And did you, was it an enjoyable experience or is just passing the time? I think it was more for passing the time. Mm. I liked disc, but I hated jab. Sorry, Malar. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. So superstitions are a big part of softball. I actually had you on one of our clips um, on, on our social media about superstitions. You said, if I recall, you drink chocolate milk before each game. Yeah, I do. When did that start and how'd that get going? Um, last year, it was just a pure coincidence that I drank chocolate milk before um, I hit my first Grand Slam. Oh. And so after that, I was like, well, this works. So now I've just been <laughs> drinking chocolate milk before every game. Is there a certain brand? Like it has to be, or are you just any kind? Any kind, but fair life on top. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Anna, what about you? Any superstitions? Um, I don't know. I guess kind of, because if I wear my hair one game, like when I hit my home runs, I wore my hair one way, and then I kept wearing my hair that way until I struck out, and then I was like, can't do that again, and then I just restarted a different hairstyle. Okay, so the strikeout resets. <laughs> yeah. Is that what it is? I okay, guess. very cool. You have two home runs this year. I did. Okay, so which, like, walk me through both of them, if you would. Um, so they were both in the same game. They were on two different pitchers. So nice. on one, I had walked up. I hadn't hit great that tournament, so I was like, all right, I just need to hit the ball. Like, forget everything else, just hit the ball, like, make contact. And I hit the ball, and I was running, and I was like, I hope that doesn't get caught. And luckily, it was a shorter, like, shorter field than our field, because our field's pretty big. Mm. And it went over, and I just heard Bree say, oh, my gosh, no way. And I was like, what are you talking about? (laughs) And I was just running around, and then I heard them go crazy in the dugout, and I was like, oh. like." So it was a late, what did you do? Did you stop at first base? No, I kept running, but I was like, running really fast and I slowed down after I saw them emptying the dugout. I was like, oh wait, hold on. Okay, that's cool. And then the second one? Basically no exactly the same. I was oh. like, just hit the ball because they had just switched pitchers and I was like, just hit the ball and it barely went over and I was like, oh gosh. But okay. those were my first two ever home runs. So, oh really? Yeah. Wow, same game. Pretty good <laughs> story then. All right, Aubrey, right now, I looked it up. You have a 406 batting average. Pretty dang good. Um, what have you done to see the ball so well this year? Um, I feel like looking, we did a lot of live on off season and just watching the spins come out of the other two pitchers hands and just like really focusing on what they're throwing and anticipating what ball's coming and know what to swing at and what not to. And then thankfully Kaylee on like she, I make her stay after she makes me stay after every practice almost to hit just to get a couple more reps in so we can both see the ball. She's actually our leading, um, like in stats right now she's adding like a 500 I think and we've both been like seeing the ball really good this year and I think it's because we keep pushing each other and like wanting each other to do the best we can so I actually saw a video about one of the best hitters ever um and it was like one of the hacks that he used was and it was in baseball Mm -hmm. but um was where he looks like he had a certain spot on the pitcher that he always stared at until he would see the release. What do you do while you're waiting and you see the girl, you know, the pitcher, sorry, um, go into their windup? Is there somewhere that you look? Um, For me personally, I just like, I'm just telling myself to take a deep breath and then I, um, after you watch a pitcher throw for like a hot minute, like when you're in the deck or whatever on the deck, um, you see like where they're releasing the ball. And then if you really just focus on there, a lot of the girls like we've been facing throw a lot of rise balls and you can see that rise ball spin come out of her hand. And if mm. you see that, then you know not to swing or if it's going to be there, then you know which ones to hit. That's quick. You're picking up spins quick then. Wow. Okay. Very cool. Um, Anna, you're the only senior on varsity. Yes. That's crazy. Um, Is that additional pressure? Do you feel like you are comfortable in a leadership role, or is it kind of shared throughout the juniors and seniors? I feel like it's shared more throughout the juniors. I mean, they were here last year. I unfortunately couldn't play, so Mm. I think that's kind of played a role in it. So I feel like I'm kind of sometimes under them because I'm just here. Like, I just want to play my last year, and that's kind of it. So I let them take charge. I mean, they were here, so, like, they know what it takes, and they saw the other girls leading it. So, I mean, I know what to do for soccer, but softball-wise, I kind of backed up and let them handle it. Aubrey, do you boss around your sister? I try (laughs) not to. (laughs) Fair enough. Okay. Um, Aubrey, what is the locker room vibe like, the mentality like this year, especially after two state championships in a row? I think we're trying to rebuild and like 
rebuild our friendships and stuff too because we have a lot of girls that didn't play last year or are coming up from JV so we don't have that close bond yet so we're really trying to just get to know each other and support each other 100% so that locker room talk is literally just like you got this you can do it and stuff like that especially with our younger freshmen um, like this weekend I got her unfortunately and I couldn't pitch and she um, everybody rallied around her and let her throw like the best of her abilities and she threw really well so I think it's just all of us coming together and just talking each other up I feel like not tearing each other down very cool okay who's the freshman that came in um Katrina okay oh Ortega sorry there you go. okay very cool <laughs> I was trying to think. um all right so let's go ahead I wanted to do um a thing that we always do it's called rapid fire okay, okay. um I sent you guys the questions but I think you guys have an idea of what you want to answer here we got this yeah. You guys ready for this? Okay. We'll go uh, Aubrey, then Anna. How okay. about that? Okay. okay. So first one, favorite emoji? Just the smiley one. <laughs> just the, but there's multiple. Which just, one no, like watching? just like the like smiling one. Like just like, like regular. The plain like smile. the plain smile. Because like I feel like that has so much emotion. It can be like actually happy or like <laughs> just like pretending you're happy. Multiple meanings. Love yes. it. Anna? Um, I like the like the smile one where like they're blushing. Okay. The Very cool. It's one. like a more humble like embarrassed <laughs> smile i don't know it's okay. i think it's funny okay i don't know very cool uh best sports movie oh uh, i could not pick one if i had to choose honestly i think sandlot is like iconic so probably that one okay i was gonna say the sandlot did you tell her and she stole it yeah she read it from my mind <laughs> she read it from your mind yes. uh best cleats ever the ones i had last year i feel like they've got me through the most and they're just under armor okay i don't know I don't really know. I just use whatever I whatever they give me. <laughs> okay. What about soccer? Did you have any in soccer you So loved? soccer I only use Nikes with a sleeve on them and I also don't like the white Nikes. The new the ones that were going crazy last year because those are the ones I tore my meniscus in oh. and I'll never wear again. So this year I got new ones that are built for the female anatomy. Oh really? Okay. Interesting. I'll have to check those out. Um, just to look at. I'm not going to wear them. <laughs> Chill out. Just kidding. Okay, so uh, pregame ritual. Um, I think before each game, we just have a quick prayer, and we just thank God for everything and wish that he keeps us, um, us and the other team safe and just allows us all to come to come together. Awesome. And chocolate milk. And chocolate milk. <laughs> okay. I think, uh, I mean, we just do our in and out, and then we give each other high fives and kind of get a little hype up for, before the game, and then we say our prayer and thank God for everything and letting us play. And then we have our little talk and we break it out and you gotta be like hyped to get that for a good game. How long does how long do you guys or how early do you get to a game? Say the game's at five o'clock. Probably around four. Oh really? Like it's just hour. an hour pre? Yeah. Wow. I'm gonna talk to the baseball boys soon <laughs> and they're gonna tell me like three hours probably. But okay. So uh best concession stand item. Mm. If I'm not playing, then um, hot Cheetos and cheese. But if I am playing, um, just like a Snickers. Okay. I like a pickle. Okay. Either or, right? Yeah. Any time. Okay, very good. Um, best, or I'm sorry, soccer or softball? Um, softball, for sure. Soccer. <laughs> okay. Very cool. All right, that'll be it for Rapid Fire. Anna, I wanted to ask you, what are your future plans after graduation? So after graduation, I'm looking into taking like, like a phlebotomy class over the summer, and then I'm gonna attend Texas Tech. I'm gonna do their honors college, and then graduate, do pre-med, do a little master's degree in like medical laboratories, and then hopefully get into medical school, if not wow. just be a person in the lab. Okay, so your ultimate goal, if all goes well, doctor? Uh, surgeon. Surgeon. Okay. Very cool. Awesome. Very good. So you have it all mapped out. That's awesome. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Um, Aubrey, what is your goal for the next two years, or I guess the rest of this year and uh, next year, your senior year? Well, I hope we just grow as a team together and just learn and, I don't know, just come together. I feel like we really have a chance of having a good season this season and next season if we come together and really find each other in the game. Okay. And then what about for the rest of this season, what is your, a, a personal goal that you've set for yourself? Um, a personal goal is just get better every game, just do better every single game. I try my hardest to, so hopefully I get there. And what about you, Anna? 
Not strike out. <laughs> okay. Just go up there, put Stop it in play. Stop every ball that comes and not strike out. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Very cool. <laughs> All right. Um, I was supposed to do a math problem here uh, oh, because I had you? told you guys I would do it. Um, I won't do that to you guys this time around. Thank you guys for being on the show. I do appreciate it. Uh, you guys are fantastic, and uh, I wish you guys the very best of luck going forward. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, guys. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching the All Sports Best podcast sponsored by Lucky Bull Grill with Ana Hernandez and Aubrey Hernandez. Thank you.